Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you guys a talk through tutorial on this eye look right here. If you're interested, keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to hit that notification bell at the end of the video if you like so. I already primed my lid and I used the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and then I set my eyelid with Tempera from the Anastasia palette. So we're gonna be using this palette today. This is a modern renaissance. And I'm gonna take the shade, after I already set, I'm gonna take the shade Golden Ochre, which is this one right here. It's kinda like a beige um, satin finish shadow. And I'm gonna use that all over my crease just to kind of intensify my crease a little bit and kind of define it a bit. So after that shade, I'm going to take the shade Melon from Bisu, and it's this one right here. And I'm gonna apply that also in my crease. is a base shadow brush from Rio Techniques. It looks like this. A brush like this. This one is from the Tarte Unicorn Collection. And I'm gonna take the shade Raw Sienna, which is this kind of like a taupe brown. I'm gonna take that in that packing brush and I'm gonna start packing it in the outer and inner corner. Just where the halo eye would go. leaving that center blank. You don't want to touch that center at all. And then we're going to connect to the top right here. Of course, if your eye is a little bit smaller, you're going to want to do that connection a little higher, almost close to your crease, so that your eye appears to be a little bit higher. And then you just blend them like that. Now I'm going to go back to that Real Techniques shadow brush. And I'm just going to buff those colors in. Making sure that all the colors mesh together. So after that, I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to take the shade Real Ochre, which is this one right here. And I'm going to just pack it on my brush and I'm going to start working in my outer and inner corners. And just keep packing the shadow until you get the intensity that you want. So then I connect them. And then I'm gonna take that brush again from Real Techniques and buff everything out. I'm gonna go back and pack the color again. Just because when you blend it out, it kind of loses the intensity of the color, so you wanna keep packing it in there. Then I'm gonna take the shade Real Gar, which is this orange one. I'm gonna take very little of that shade, just to kind of give it a little pop of color. A quick tip that I like to do is I like to look back like this and kind of buff so that I ensure all the shadows are meshing together. Now taking that same tart brush, I'm gonna take the shade Venetian Red, which is the this shade right here. It's a little bit more like a hot pink, shiny red. 
And I'm just gonna add it in the same areas. And then just connecting it. So then I'm gonna take the shade Carmine by Bisu. It's this one right here. And I'm gonna pack it right in that outer and inner corners. Then I'm gonna connect it. Then I'm gonna take that brush again by Real Techniques and just buff everything upward. Then I'm gonna take a big brush like this. This is the MAC 275. And I'm gonna take that shade Melon from Bisu and I'm gonna run it along all the crease just to make sure that those colors are meshing together and it looks nice and blended. It takes a little blending, but at the end, I think it looks super beautiful, so. It's worth it. I'm gonna take the shade Red Ochre again, once again with my tart brush, and I'm just gonna pack it right here because I feel like I lost a little intensity with all the blending. And then just kind of buff it a little in the outer corners. But see, it's a glitter glue and it looks like this. It's kind of like a gel, so kind of like what I was going for today I take very little like not even a pea size I take like that much if you could see it's a like a the slaintest little dot ever and I just put it in the center where it was bare and I'm gonna take the shade Primavera and Vermeer these two right here, these are the two shimmery shades that the Modern Renaissance palette comes with. I'm gonna take those with my finger and then I'm gonna apply them with the glitter glue. Just like that. So I know that the shade went a little bit overboard. You just take that same tart, no more product, just whatever's left on the brush and just kind of clean it. So I just like to get right in there in those creases. So once we've done that, I'm pretty content with the way my eyes look. I'm just gonna go a little bit over here and blend it. I'm gonna add a little bit of burnt orange from that same palette. It's the shade right here. So I'm gonna take burnt orange and just kind of add it right here for a little more smokiness you don't have to do this step I just felt like my eye look needed a little bit more intensity there um, I felt like melon was a little too shy for my um, for my crease so that's it for the eyes now I'm gonna go ahead and line them I'm gonna use this glitter liner it's by fantasy makers and this one is in the color silver. Um, it was like a Halloween glitter, so I'm not sure if you guys are gonna find this. I'm so sorry. So you might need a little, like two coats of this. So I like to let it dry between coats, just so that, you know, the, the the glitter will add iron better to my eye so meanwhile that dries I'm gonna go ahead and take my pomade I'm using the one in medium brown this one is by Anastasia gold brush by Elf I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my brows meanwhile that glitter dries for our second coat if you guys would want an eyebrow Routine. I know I have one in my channel, but my eyebrow routine has changed so much in that one So um, let me know if you guys are interested in an updated one
So after I do that with my pomade, I'm gonna take the Maybelline, I'm sorry, Matte Mocha. It's just an eyeshadow by Maybelline, it's the brown one. I'm gonna take that with that same brush and I'm just gonna kind of fill in my end, the end of my brow. I like my brow to be a little transitional when it comes to colors. So um, yeah, I like the end to be pretty dark. But that's up to you guys. If you guys don't like a dark brow, you don't have to do this step. Okay, so I feel like my glitter is already dry. I'm going to go ahead and apply a second coat of this. I don't know if you guys can tell the glitter. These are the ones that I'm using today. Just in case you guys were interesting. Sorry for my nail polish. It's just all over the place. And I'm gonna take the duo glue. This one's the green one. I'm not sure the name. I just know it has like a green packaging. So yeah. You might wanna look for that. So I like to let them set a little before applying them. I like to go back in there and kind of apply like another coat of it of the glitter just to see if the lashes didn't cover the liner. we're gonna move on to the face and for face I'm gonna take the Smashbox primer water I like to use this prior to applying my makeup just so that my face can get moisturized I do have dry skin just for those who don't know After that, I let it kind of set a little. And for foundation, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I have mine in a warm bay. My, my foundation with an oval brush. This one's by True Beauty and it's number 108. So what I like to do is I dispense the foundation on my finger and then I dot it in my face just to make sure that I don't use way too much. I don't want to look cakey. Um, but I dot it all over my face like that just in little small dots and then I take some for my forehead I don't apply wherever my concealer goes I just feel that if you do I just feel that if you do it's just like wasting product I don't know I might be wrong that's just the way I don't like to do my makeup. I don't like to apply product wherever I'm gonna apply something else. So I'm gonna start buffing this with my oval brush. For concealer, I'm going to be using the NARS Creamy Concealer in Custard. So that's what I'm going to use to highlight my under eye. I don't know how I feel about this concealer. I feel like it's not my favorite. But it has nice coverage. So I have the travel size. I like to buy the travel size first to see if I like the product. And if the product sold, like sells me out, I'll buy the, the 
the big version of it. So, now I'm taking this Tarte brush. It's also by the Unicorn Collection that they have. Um, and I like to use this one to buff out my concealer. I didn't quite know what to use this brush for until I saw an Instagram post about it. And the girl used this brush and her concealer looked flawless. So, I started using mine for that too. And I honestly love it. So I like to push my concealer right here. I find that when you push it into your nose, it kind of helps slim your nose down, if it makes any sense. Now to set my concealer, I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm just gonna use it with the same brush. Just like that. Fluffy brush by Sonia Keshuk. This is their powder brushes. And I'm gonna take whatever was left in my Laura Mercier cap and I'm just gonna buff it into my skin. I don't bake for long because I have dry skin like I said. But it just depends on your skin type. And I kind of swipe rather than like, um, rather than like rubbing it off because then you take off all the work in progress. So. We're almost done guys. So, okay, now I'm gonna take whatever product was left in that Tarte brush, and I'm gonna run it along my lower lash line. Just to kind of smoke my lower lash line a little bit. I'm not a fan of this method, just cause I feel like it doesn't go with me, but I know a lot of people like this method, so. For all the people that like to smoke out their lower lash line, here it is. So there we go. Now for mascara, I'm going to be using the Blink Mascara. This is the amplified one and I'm using mine in black. I'm just gonna bronze my face. And to bronze my face, I'm going to be using my Heart Candy Baked Bronzer in Tropics. This is like, this has become like my favorite bronzer ever. I just use it all the time. And I always find myself reaching out to this one more than others. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna apply it with a Real Techniques. Um, this is the 300 brush. I'm gonna take the BH119 brush just to kind of give myself a little nose contour. I'm going to do something really like natural kind of like really toned down I think I'm gonna use this one this one's by LA colors and it's their dream daydream lip color
finish off the look, I'm going to use the a little bit of this blush. This one's by Bisu and it's in the shade Petalo. It has a little bit of glitter, but it's not chunky. I'm just gonna use very little because this one can really make you look like Pokemon if you if you go a little heavy-handed. So you gotta be really light with this color. You don't want to be looking like Pikachu. After that, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of highlight, and I'm gonna use this uh, stippling brush by Wet n Wild, and I'm going to take the Too Faced Candlelight in Rosy Glow. That's what it looks like with this little Wet n Wild stippling brush. I saw somebody's video and they said that when you use a stippling brush like this, it gives you a more natural glow. So I was like, I'm sold. I gotta try it. So just go ahead and apply wherever you feel like it's your high points of your face or wherever you would apply your highlighter. I kind of bring mine into my cheek. This is the way that the cheeks are looking so far. The Smashbox Primer Water. This is a primer and it's also a setting spray so you can use it for both. Set my face. And then you want to air it. Finish look you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to give you guys a little close up just so that you guys can see what it looks like. The liner, everything. All the details are going to be down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to. Um, and also, I'm going to leave all my social medias down below just in case you're interested to follow me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.